Hello, and welcome to Flying Failures, where we'll be looking at the PZL M15 Belfagor. The Belfagor is the world's first and so far only jet-powered biplane, a Polish aircraft manufactured for the purpose of crop dusting the vast farmlands of the Soviet Union, but despite its very specific role in life, what resulted was among the strangest machines ever to take flight. As mentioned, demand for the M15 came from the Soviet Union's requirement for a new agricultural plane that could be used on the expansive farms of the USSR, including the Kolkots Collectives and the state-owned Sovkots, the primary forms of agricultural aviation in the Soviet Union at the time being a motley crew of designs that dated back to the Second World War, including early Antonovs such as the AN-2. In response, a large-scale fleet of agricultural aircraft, which would be constructed by Polish builder WSK PZL Milek, was developed, comprising the M15 jet, the propeller-powered 106 Crook, and the M18 Dromander, Poland being selected for the task due to its experience in creating agricultural versions of the AN-2, known as the AN-2R, built under license before being exported back to Russia. Unlike previous designs, the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, or Comicon, demanded that the new aircraft be powered by a jet engine so as to be faster and more efficient than turboprop equivalents, and therefore PZL created a flying laboratory known as LALA-1, or Latacha Laboratorium-1, or Flying Laboratory-1, to test the effects of a jet engine on a biplane design, LALA-1 comprising the forward section and wings of an AN-2, while the rear section was removed and replaced with a frame, in which was housed an Ivchenko Progress AI-25 jet engine from the Yakovlev Yak-40 trijet, and the Aero L-39 Albatross fighter trainer, the frame also incorporating equipment for agricultural uses, including crop dusting tanks and dispensers. After much testing during 1972, it was found that marrying a jet engine to a biplane configuration was feasible, and therefore the M15 entered the formal design stage, its configuration based on a twin-boom sesquiplane platform with the AI-25 engine mounted above the crew cabin, a sesquiplane layout, which is arguably the most common form of biplane design, meaning that the lower wings have a shorter wingspan than the upper wings, reducing interference drag between the wings, while retaining the aircraft's structural advantage. The aircraft was designed to be flown single-handedly, though there was space in the somewhat cramped cabin for two other passengers, while between the wings, either side of the fuselage, the aircraft carried two tanks, which could contain up to 2,900 litres of either liquid or dry chemicals for pest control and fertilisation, these chemicals being dispensed from tubes on the lower wings, while the surfaces of the leading edges were laminated to avoid corrosion. In terms of performance, the M15 was not only the world's first jet-powered biplane, but also the slowest mass-production jet aircraft ever built, its underpowered single AI-25 engine producing a mere 3,306 pounds of thrust, meaning it could only attain a top speed of 124 miles an hour, with a cruising speed of anywhere between 87 and 103 miles an hour, making it slower than the 160 mile an hour AN-2 it planned to replace, although the M15 had an arguably better rate of climb. As for range, the M15 had a maximum flying distance of only 248 miles, a figure which didn't bode well when presented with the gigantic collective farms of the Soviet Union, which could be up to 1,000 square miles in size, meaning that, come harvest time, crop dusting with an M15 could only be possible through multiple sorties rather than a single run accomplished by an AN-2, while PZL, likely aware of the M15's setbacks, unveiled a slew of far superior turboprop designs which could outrun and outmaneuver the jet, including the PZL-106 Crook, or Raven, which was launched in 1976 as a competitor to the likes of the Piper PA-25 Pawnee, and the PZL Maliak M18 Dromada, a license-built version of the Rockwell Thrush Commander from the USA, both of these models capable of flying at well over 130 miles an hour, and sporting both a climb rate, range, and fuel efficiency that far exceeded the M15. Therefore, upon the launch of the M15 in 1976, the aircraft was largely overlooked following the first few sales, Comic-Con's forecast of approximately 3,000 orders never being met due to the presence of its far superior stablemates on the market, its performance woes being compounded further by its incredibly noisy engine, hence the aircraft's name of Belfagor, the title of a rowdy demon who was also one of the seven princes of hell. Eventually, only 175 of these aircraft, including two prototypes, were built before production ceased in 1981, with sales never extending outside the USSR, and while the aircraft was exhibited at the 1976 Paris Air Show, in the hopes of wooing potential foreign buyers, it languished in obscurity throughout, and today the number of M15 still in existence, let alone airworthy, is disputed, most having disappeared off into the wild Soviet countryside and never heard from again, while many were stripped of their engines in order to keep Yak-40 airliners in service, although several are known to have been preserved in varying degrees of intactness.